Gird your loin, Centurions, because we're off on another epic, trippy food episode. Today we're going to try something truly epic. Now, lately I've been fascinated with what I've seen. I think on the I was on the one of the hot dog Facebook pages, and basically it was a Jello mold made with pickles and hot dogs, and I thought that sounds interesting. But then I also remembered that a while back, somebody had done something to entertain the kids and be fun with the kids, is making little squids out of hot dogs with uncooked spaghetti stuck into them and then cooked. And I thought, well, that sounds like a fun idea too. Now, being in self-quarantine, you have a lot of time to think, maybe too much time to think. And so what I came up with is something that's so epic this is just gonna be amazing. I like, I might wet my pants just thinking about this, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the epic battle of nature. The giant squid versus the sperm whale. And I'm gonna do it in a jello mold. And this is gonna be, this is just gonna be amazing. And then I'm gonna eat it. So I'm gonna do the whole squid with the hot dog thing. But here's the, here's the really cool part. I have squid ink pasta. I have squid ink spaghetti. And I'm gonna use the squid ink spaghetti for the squid arms. And then I'm going to use a pickle for the whale. And uh, I'll fashion a tail and some fins for the whale out of these uh, pieces of jalapeno here. Uh, and then I'm going to um, use some string cheese for the mouth, for the whale's mouth. Uh, for the eyes, for the whale's eyes, I have capers, I'm gonna use those. And for the squid's eyes, because the squids have those big, huge, lovable, adorable doe eyes, I'm gonna use uh, pimento stuffed olives. And then and I have my hot dogs here. And just to make it all more fun, because it, it is the ocean that this epic battle is taking place in, I have blue food coloring. So I'm just putting up just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of blue food coloring in the gelatin. And and this is gonna be the epic battle of nature in a gelatin, in a jello mold that I'm gonna eat afterwards. So let's get cracking.
Well, I have to tell you that I have exceeded my wildest expectations, and this thing, I couldn't have asked this to come out more perfect. So uh, again, we kind of outdid the hot dog and pickle jello mold, and we also incorporated the idea of the hot dog octopus. Now, I will tell you that I cut two slits into the back of the octopus to kind of give them that, you know, that pointed back end, but they came out a little bit phallic, so you know, whatever. Um, anyways, this is incredible. Just uh, just looking at this, especially with the light underneath it. The blue is nice because it adds that kind of oceanic thing. Now, what I would suggest is if you look at the instructions on, on the gelatin package, there's two ways to make it. One is to make it as a dessert, and that's gonna be that very, you know, more loose jello-like substance, and you don't want that because that's gonna, the, the thing would just fall apart. And then the other one is to make gelatin bars, and those are gonna be too firm. So whatever it tells you to use for liquid, just maybe go somewhere in between those two. And that, I think as we did here, there's enough uh, firmness to it. Uh, at the same time, it's just not, not all falling apart. So again, the whale is made out of a pickle. It has capers for eyes. It has string cheese for a mouth. It has pieces of jalapeno for the fins. The squid is hot dogs with olives with pimentos for the eyes. And the tentacles are squid ink pasta. So this thing is just incredible. It is the epic battle, the epic oceanic battle of the whale and the giant squid. So. Uh, I guess what I'd like to, uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to kind of just kind of cut into it and see if I can get like a slice, uh, kind of a, a cross section of this and, uh, and see what that looks like. Now when I do that, this is going to get really bright so I may have to turn the light off, but let me go ahead and cut into this. And I'm going to use a knife, a, um, a very sharp knife, but it, you know, this could fall apart. Uh, let's, uh, let's get an eyeball piece here. Okay, so, so far that's cutting really well. Wow. <laughs> There's that nice cross section right there. So we've beheaded the whale, but what I want to do is I want to get, uh, I want to get the olives for the squid's eyes and I want to get some of the jalapeno fin in there. So I'm going to cut this slice here. And that's what we'll go ahead and eat. And it is starting to get a little melty now. There we go. 
So now we're gonna we're gonna test the flavor of this. You can move that out of the way. Now I am thinking that this is going to have um, a lot of different flavor because uh, I used an unflavored gelatin, but for I used about uh, three quarters of the hot dog water, and then I added about a quarter or so of a mix between some t pickled tomatoes that I had because it was a vinegar base, and some the pickles, uh, the whale pickle because that was a brine, it was a salty brine. I didn't want to use all of that, or I didn't even want to use half, because there was so much salt in the pickle brine, and I thought it would just be like, you know, a sodium overload. So, uh, so here we go. Uh, it's funny because the, uh, the hot dog uh, picked up a little bit of the, uh, the blue tint, but uh, let's try to get a mouthful here. And I know we have, um, we have a fin have a piece of pickle we have the eyeballs and we have a hot dog so that's a nice a nice uh, mouthful right there so let's see what this all tastes like mm. not salty at all that's good right away you get that cold hot dog taste almost like a bologna taste And the pickle's really kind of muted there. Jalapeno's nice. The squid ink pasta has kind of an unusual texture too, because I think the thing is when you make the gelatin, you have to put hot water on there and putting the hot water in there, I think cooked the pasta a little bit more. So it's not really al dente. I started with it al dente. It's not really al dente anymore. But wow, there's nothing offensive about this. It's just really weird because, again, you're eating cold hot dog, but the uh, the taste of the pickles and the olives and everything, it's 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 like a cold salad. So there's really nothing, you know, offensive or weird or bizarre here. The pickles still crispy. The texture of the gelatin is just right. And this isn't sweet at all. It's like an aspic. Wow. Now, I'm going to say again, it's weird because I'm eating cold hot dogs. I don't know that I would ever do this again. But if I was having a, a party, you know, a weird food party or something, I would definitely make this, bring this to the party, put it on the light, have it, you know, um, glow from within, and so people can see this epic battle because it's, it's fun to make. If you got kids, I would highly recommend that you do this with kids. Kids are gonna love this. And um, and all the flavors there are stuff that kids are gonna like. I don't think there's anything there. Maybe hold off on the jalapeno fins, maybe, for the kids, but everything else is just like really nice taste. It's, it's not offensive. Um, yeah, I, I recommend it. So I think, I think we scored a big thumbs up on this one. Uh, I, I think it was a great idea. Uh, I just was bored with just doing the spaghetti squid or doing the hot dog and pickle gelatin. I think this worked out really well. I'm really pleased with this. Um, I, I, since I stepped through it, you can kind of see how I did it on camera, but if you have any questions about it or anything, leave a comment down below and I'll kind of give you some ideas on, on how I put this together, but I'm really pleased with how this worked out. So uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are taking care of each other. I hope you guys are staying safe and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.